Hi everyone, it's Andrew from the Glazer Tutoring Company. Today we'd like to teach you how to find the x and y intercepts for the following rational function, x plus five divided by x squared plus four. So whenever you're finding the x-intercept, what you're gonna do is you're going to set this function equal to zero. Okay, you're gonna find you're gonna set the function's value equal to zero. So f of x will equal zero, and then you solve for x. Okay, that's gonna be the x-intercept. Now, so what do we do? Take this function, instead of writing f of x, write zero equals x plus five, all over then x squared plus four, and solve this for x. So what you would do is I would wanna get rid of this function, you know, this uh, fraction, so I would cross multiply here, so it's gonna be zero times x squared plus four is equal to x plus five, Zero times anything is gonna be zero. So zero is equal to x plus five, and look at how nice this is, right? You subtract five across both sides. What happened to that? There we go. And x is going to be equal to negative five. So this is going to be the x-intercept at negative five. Now for the y-intercept, what are we gonna do? So the y-intercept is gonna be the opposite. We're going to set x now equal to zero in the function, all right? And then we're gonna solve, we're gonna solve for the f of x. So rewrite the function f of x is gonna be equal to now zero plus five. So everybody see an x, simply plug in a zero, divided by zero squared plus four. So f of x is gonna be equal to five over four. In other words, your y-intercept, remember f of x you can think of as y, is gonna be equal to five over four. And that's it. Be the reason why this works is because when you're dealing with a y-intercept, right, the y-intercept, the x value is always zero, and the y value is what you're looking for. When you're dealing with an x-intercept, the y value is always zero, and it's the x value that you're looking for. Okay, so that's all you do. You plug in the zero for y to solve for the x-intercept, and you plug in the zero for x to solve for the y-intercept. Now, graph this thing, right? I already have it in there. And what we'll see is let's take a look at the table. So hit second table, all right? And now let's take a look at these values, right? When y is zero, let's go up to here. Look, when y is zero, x is negative five. That's the x-intercept, right? When y is zero. That's what we said it should be over here, right? And now we can't really find the five-fourths, but if you go down and uh, why, why don't we do this now? Let's go to, I'll, I'll show it to you, right? So let's go now to um, the graph. So if you notice here, right, let's zoom in a little bit, go zoom in, zoom number two, hit enter. You see now, this is one unit, that's then two units, and you see how this is intersecting just above the one unit, meaning at five fourths, right? Or right around 1.25. And that's the y-intercept. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description below because we leave you a lot of goodies and a lot of stuff over time. We're building a lot of resources for you guys. We want to help you through your class. And we not only have math stuff, but we have physics and chemistry as well. We have thousands of solved solutions out there. Check out our channel. I think you're going to love it. Take care.